In this video, we'll have a look at how to get further control over the way keyframes are interpolated one to another by using the graph editor. So in this case, we want to make this ball bounce across the scene. We'll just make it do a single bounce as it goes. So I would want it to start somewhere on the left and up and then end down on the lower right and have it bounce once in the middle. So we'll start by setting up the keyframes. I'm going to start by animating the X and I'm going to take the ball and move it over to its initial start point. Then I'm going to scrub down to frame 120 and I'll move it to its ending point. So right there. So right there I can see I've got my keyframes in there and ready to go. And now I need to also keyframe the vertical position or the Y. So since it's already sitting on the ground, I'm going to go down to the last frame, which is where I want it to end up, and turn on keyframing and that will set that initial keyframe there. And then if I scrub back in time, I can take the ball and move it up in the air. And now the ball is just kind of floating down towards the ground. But I want it to bounce right here on frame 60. So what I'm going to do is go to frame 60 and then I'm going to manually go and key in 0.5, which will put it sitting on the ground. And now if I animate this, you can see it looks nothing like a bouncing ball. And that's because Moto is taking the keys that I have set and it's trying to give me a nice smooth interpolation between them. In order to change that, I have to look at the motion graph and edit it in order to get a nice bouncing animation. So the motion graph is located down underneath the timeline next to the options and it looks like a little line graph. So you can see as I pull this up, I have my animation and if I just click on position Y, you can see that this actually looks something like the motion that my ball is taking vertically. And you can see here that this looks nothing like a bounce. It looks like it hits the ground, goes underneath the ground, and scoops up. So if I want to fix that, I need to adjust these different animation handles. So just like a curve in something like Illustrator, these are Bezier curves. They have interpolation and they can be broken so that the interpolation is not smooth and continuous, but in between they will still kind of stick together. So in order to do this, I'm going to right click on this keyframe go down and choose break and I want to break the slope and the weight and that will give me full control over both of these handles. So now I can edit this as I would in Illustrator. Let's go up and I want this to kind of come and arc and bounce and hit the ground and then bounce back up and I want to do the same thing here at the end and even though there's nothing after it I am going to go ahead and just break this one anyway. So also again slope and weight and there we go. So we'll do something like that. Now this is going to be relatively slow because really this would in all actuality bounce more than once as it fell this over this amount of time. But now you can see already as I scrub this animation, it's looking much, much better. The only problem now is that it is going very slowly at first and then it picks up speed and it slows down towards the end like it's hitting into something. So really I want the X motion across the screen left to right to be linear and right now it eases in and eases out. So if I look at my position X you can see yep sure enough I've got this slope that goes up and I can change the slope of these. Right now it's curving and it's an automatic slope. So if I click up here on slope in the top of this window I can choose linear out for here. Now you can see it goes out linear. I'm going to choose this last frame, go to slope and choose linear in and it's a nice linear motion. So now if I scrub the timeline I get something much more like a bouncing ball. So that's the basics of the graph editor. All it takes is adjusting your individual interpolation between your keyframes that you've already set up and you can get more complex and more controlled animation while still only having a few different actual keyframes set.